These pay at closing lead companies are a scam and I'm gonna prove it to you right now. I'm Nick Carpenter with Legion and Loan Officers. Let's talk about why you should never partner with a pay at closing lead generation company and why you should practically consider them to be scams, okay? And let's just look at the numbers real quick. According to Redfin, and I'm gonna put the screenshot around here, the average sales price in America right now is $432,812, all right? So let's just round off to 432. So if, you have a, if you're selling a $432,000 house as a realtor, you're making almost $13,000. To be specific, it's $12,000. $984.36. Okay, so very close to $13,000 that you can make as an average commission as a realtor from selling an average house. Now, if we assume that the a loan officer is doing the mortgage on a $432,000 house, if a person's putting down 5% as a down payment, they're getting around a $411,000 mortgage. So as a loan officer, they're only paid on the actual loan, um, not on the sales price. So at you know a sort of industry standard 150 basis points or one and a half percent, right? A loan officer is making a little over six grand. It's actually six thousand one hundred sixty-seven dollars and fifty-seven cents. So if you combine what a realtor is making on a standard transaction and what a loan officer is making on a standard transaction, that's $19,152. $19,152 combined commission between the loan officer and the realtor on a standard $432,000 transaction. Right, that's a lot of bread to go out and use and be able to generate your own business. Now, the reason that I say pay at closing lead companies for loan officers or for realtors are a scam is because let's look at the numbers. If you find one that takes a very low end, 25% cut of your commission, that's gonna be about $3,246. Okay, so $3,246 on the low end as a 25% referral. Let's just say you have to pay a more industry standard 30% referral. That's gonna be $3,895. So we're almost at $4,000 as a referral fee. And if you have to pay a little bit higher referral fee, 35% referral fee, that's gonna be a little over $4,500 that you're paying in a referral fee, okay? So if you're willing to invest $3,000 to $4,500 in order to generate a client, we could look at some other options and see like what could you do with that type of investment or what would it take in other avenues in order to be able to generate a client? How can we do it for less than $3,000 to $4,500, which is what, you know, by the fact that you're looking for pay at closing lead companies for real estate or for loan officers tells me that you're willing to spend that money, right? You just want to have to spend it on the back versus spending it on the front. But what if there was a way that you could take and spend like, I don't know, maybe it's crazy, but what if you could get a deal for 10% of what they're trying to charge you, right? So that would be like, let me look at these numbers here. That'd be like $324 to $454. So I'm gonna try to come up with a plan right now that you could implement for the budget of $324 to $454 and see what could we do with that money in order to turn a deal uh, for $454 where we could get a deal for 10% of what these pay at closing lead companies are trying to charge. All right, so if you're willing to invest $3,000 to $4,500 in order to convert a transaction with one of these pay at closing lead companies, and then let's look at what we could do for a little bit for, like I said, 10% of that spend, okay? So I'm using $454.45 as my high end of what I'm gonna be trying to spend here as a budget, which is about $15 a day, all right? So if you've got $15 a day, I'm not even gonna necessarily spend all $15 a day. I'm gonna spend $14 a day. So in the end here, you can even have 30 bucks left over for some Panda Express or whatever you like to spend $30 on, all right? So 
if you're going to spend $14 a day, what I recommend doing is, number one, and I'm just kind of taking some notes here as I, as I go through this, but we want to spend $11 a day running Facebook ads. All right, I think that every lender should be running Facebook ads. $11 a day is a very uh, low ask on, on actually generating leads. We're talking about spending 300 bucks a month. I mean, a lot of you probably, maybe you've gone to dinner and spent $300 on a dinner, right? I mean, it's not unreasonable to spend that in order to grow your business. So we're gonna spend $11 a day. And if you're really, really hurting, you might even be able to get realtors to give you the $11 a day. That'd basically be 330 bucks that you would go ask for a realtor. So you could just hit realtors up until you get somebody to say yes. And you could go get this money for free if, you know, I mean, if we need to go like scrap it out, like we could go figure it out, right? And so we could get the money. So spend $11 a day running leads. Okay, you can run, partner with a realtor, run a house as an ad to get leads of people looking for information on that specific house. You could run a first time home buyer ad. You could run an open house ad. You could do a list of homes. You could do, you know, a special program for nurses, firefighters, first responder type of people. Um, as a general statement, if you're, you know, if you're working with a low budget and you want to get the most leads possible, then partner with a realtor, run a house as an ad. And that way, you know, because everybody wants a house, nobody wants a mortgage. So we want to tease them with what they're looking for, which is like, hey, if you want this information about this house, click on this link and get it. And then it pops up the Facebook lead form. And now we can go and, and be able to capture that person's info and send them over to our CRM or whatever you like to do. I'm using Complete LO in order to manage this process. So depending on what CRM system you're using, you know, maybe you have what you need. Um, I love Complete LO because it has the ad management inside the software. So um, it's like a CRM with an ads manager, with AI built in to, you know, help you convert the leads and all that. So I'm using that platform, but obviously you could just run the ads directly from Facebook, download the leads every day, and be calling the leads that way. There's, you know, different ways you can be converting on the back. But if you're trying to scrape together deals, then that probably means you have time. And so then there's no reason if you have time that you can't be just putting it into converting the leads, right? I mean, come on, let's be real here. I mean, you either have money or you have time, but typically, you know, you have one or the other, you know what I mean? So um, you can either, if you have more money than time, then you can hire somebody like, you know, our company to, you know, run the ads for you on the management side, or you can get an inside sales agent that's calling the leads for you. Um, you know, I, I love working with inside sales agents in Mexico because you can train them really well to uh, be high converting. They sound really good on the phone. Um, you can even find people that lived in America and now they live back in Mexico. And so you can get really high quality dialers for, you know, let's just say 1500 a month. You can get a full-time dialer that's crushing on setting appointments for you or doing live transfers. So there's options there. So $11 a day, kind of got off track, but $11 a day running ads, okay? Now, if you're spending $11 a day and you're running a house as an ad, which is my recommendation to start with, you're gonna get anywhere from, let's just say three to 10 leads a day, okay? So three to 10 leads a day is what you're gonna be dealing with. So that's a lot, right, for $11. I mean, if you're getting three bucks average, you're gonna be getting three leads. If you, you know, right now, I'm generating leads for less than a dollar in some places. So in that case, you know, right, you might even get more. Um, but ultimately the goal here is to get at least 100 leads a month to have the, the best chance at converting a deal because you know, even Zillow is converting at 2.1% from internet lead that fills out Zillow's forms or asks for information to people who buy a house and Zillow gets paid on the transaction. 2.1% conversion and you should expect the same. So we're going to go out there, we're going to try hard to get at least 100 leads but spending $11 a day is gonna get us minimum 100 and maybe maximum like 300, right? Depending on how great things go. Now, what's interesting about getting leads if we're running Facebook ads is that for every one person who completes your form, 
there's going to be about five people that click on the ad but don't fill out the form. So if we're getting, let's just say, for example, if we're getting, um, let's just say 200 leads, okay? If we get 200 leads, then that means that we're going to have 1,000 people that clicked on the form, okay? Now, what's cool is that Facebook knows who those people are even if they won't tell us who they are, right? They won't tell us who it is, but they know. And so then we can run ads, you know those retargeting ads that kind of like follow people around? We can turn those ads on so that all 1,000 people start being able to build a relationship with you and get to know, like, and trust you a little bit. All right, so that's where the other $3 a day is gonna come in, is we're gonna spend three bucks a day on retargeting. And so in the back end of Facebook, they have what's called custom audiences. So you can make an audience of people who opened your form, whether they submitted the form or they didn't submit the form, or in my case, I'm just gonna run into everybody, whether they submitted it or they didn't. And I'm gonna, you know, put a like a customer testimonial in front of people or some video demonstrating ex my expertise at mortgages or some other offer like you know, something where they can get to know me a little bit better about my family or my hobbies or my likes and dislikes, you know, because I want them to like me as a person. And that's why ultimately they'll choose to use me for the mortgage because they like me as a person, not because I have the mortgage product that everybody else has on earth, you know? So $14 a day, that will give you enough opportunity to go and find at least one deal. If you, if you're really, if you're good at converting, like if you're bad at converting, you can probably find one deal. If you're good at converting, you can probably find two deals. If you're great at converting, you can probably find three or four deals, right? It's just a matter of like, how much effort are you putting in? And also, are you getting realtors to partner with you on this process? Because people want a house, not a mortgage. So if you can have realtors be the first point of contact, your conversion's gonna go up and have them refer the client you know, over to you um, and then they can obviously tell you to call the client. You can get a hold of them and be able to have conversations that way. But look, pay per lead companies or you know pay for leads at closing companies. The reason I say they're a scam is because of how much money they charge you. You can replicate their efforts. I gave you one idea today on how you can do this with Facebook ads. You could do this with Google local service ads, right? I know people converting the same way there, about 400 bucks in order to get a client from the Google local service ads. The same thing is happening with us on Facebook ads. So you've got some options. My guess is there's other even ways that you can do it beyond my ideas here. What, what would you do? I mean, if you were trying to go out there, if you had four or $500 budget and you were trying to convert a client, what would you do with that $500 in order to have the best chance at getting a deal, okay? Um, so anyways, Paper lead closings or you know pay for the leads at closing companies you don't need to get in bed with those kind of people because they take so much of your money and now you've got to go out here and work even harder just to get back to what you should have made off of your other deals so it's much better if you can just invest a few hundred dollars into different marketing channels and figure out how to generate your own business right now instead of getting one client that you paid four thousand dollars for you can get one client for four or five hundred dollars and you've still got another 100 people in your database that you can follow up with and maybe eventually get them to work with you. So you've created so much more opportunity and, and an asset as well by having this big database of potential buyers. And so that's one way you can do it. Again, let me know in the comments, what would you do? Like if you have a $500 budget, or in our case it was four fifty four forty five dollars was our budget, what would you do with that money? How would you turn it into a mortgage client or a real estate client. And uh, anyways, appreciate you for watching. Make sure you click that like button, the subscribe button. Again, drop me a comment. Let me know how do you spend 400, 500 bucks to make sure you get a deal. And we'll see you back here next time. Later.